Hello everybody, let's jump straight into the blender. So you have some thingy and some curve, path, road, whatever. And you would like to move the thingy along the path. That's super easy, just put a follow path constraints on the object, select the curve, check the fixed position and animate the offset value as your heart desire. This offset is actually a fraction of the length of the curve, which means that when you change the curve's length, the speed of the cube will also changes. You can combat it pretty well by changing also the timing of the keyframes. But what if the thing isn't just a simple cube? What if it's a full character with walk cycle? This one is from Mixamo.com by the way. It has nice looping motion captured walk with constant speed. You can try the same method. Put a follow path constraint on it, fix position, follow curve and keyframe the offset. Make the interpolation linear and with a little experimenting you should find the right sweet spot for the second keyframe. Nice, but as soon as you edit the curve, you have to look for a new sweet spot. Well, scratch that and try another way. With even less effort, you should be able to find the right speed for the armature if it moved only on a straight line. I've keyframed just the Y location and used a generator to find the right coefficient. And when I was happy with it, I've turned it off and animated a new object instead. This new helper is just a mesh object with exactly only three vertices. And now is the time when the magic happens. I will not put a constraint on it, but curve modifier instead. Ta-da! You can see the pivot. The object is still moving on a straight line, but those vertices nicely flow along the path. Now I will just parent the armature to those vertices. Yes, parent to vertices, not to the object. You have to go to the edit mode before parenting. It works flawlessly, but for some reason it's usually upside down. Nothing you shouldn't be able to fix. Either rotate the helper object or change the tilt of the curve. That's all. We just mapped the object's Y location to the curve. So 10 meters of movement on the Y axis equals exactly 10 meters of movement along the path, regardless of its length or shape. I hope you will find a use for it in your projects. Thanks for watching, until the next time, happy blending!